Hey, it's Odessa Lil, Babs the Klingon Vanna White, and Shecky Davis Jr. Uh, you may know us from the internet. We're Speak Easily, and we're here at Comic Con. Oh my God, we're here at Comic Con. It's like the mothership landed and let us in and then had its way with us and then um, samples were taken. But we're going to talk to some of the geekiest people here and it's going to be so much fun. Excuse me, sir, but which line are you standing in? I'm in the line for the restroom. What are you standing in line for? We're waiting for the adult swim booth and it's quite the wait. I mean, they better give you free money and a blowjob the way you're standing in line here. Well, last year was massages in a dark room, so <laughs> it did work out well. We got some slippers and a robe. <laughs> That's totally worth it. We're, we're here to speak easily with an exclusive. I found Waldo. Yes. Thank you. We just can't find Quark's Bar. We really got an aching for some Romulan ale. I know. It's far, hard to find booze here. We've been looking for booze, too. <laughs> I got nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, that's always so true of command. You know what happens with the red shirt. <laughs> I hope to make it out of here alive. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for you, sir. Aaron Yeager. So, so you're here patrolling. Have you seen any Titans eating, eating up these nerds? Not one yet. Uh, is, is this pissing you off? Do, do, do you want to fight? It's really, really pissing me off. I want to kill them all. Yeah, that's good. That's good. See, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, Titans. So are you going to go fight any battles here? Uh, I don't know. No one's been naughty yet, but if I see something, you know, I'll, I'll intervene. <laughs> I'm going to keep you on speed dial in case something <laughs> happens. Excellent, excellent. Oh! Yeah! 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 We're here with Toxie from the Toxic Avenger over here at the Troma booth. Hi, Toxie. Hi, everyone. Toxie, so um, I bet you really clean up today, don't you? Oh, I'll do my best to make all the new friends I can. What's going on here in the uh, Troma booth today? Well, we have all kinds of stories of my life. We have my great friend Lloyd over here signing autographs. And Lloyd Kaufman. Saying hi to everybody. What's the name of the show? Speak Easily. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's uh, interviews and burlesque and Klingons. You know, the usual. We are at the trauma booth. Wow, the trauma booth. I wow. can't believe it. I had no idea when I woke up this morning I could be with the <laughs> Speak Easily and the trauma booth together, together at oh. last. Unbelievable. The genius. Lloyd Kaufman right here. The genius. I'm sorry, I've got coffee breath. Uh, forgive me, but my name is oh. Kaufman. So surf Nazis must die, ferocious female freedom fighters, toxic Avenger man. These, these are, this is the shit. It ha sure is. <laughs> I've got to take one, too. At any rate, uh, wait, wait, wait. We'll come with you. Yes. We'll bring, come on, cameras. We're going. <laughs> well, let's uh, speak easily now. Uh, yes. Are there any Klingons involved? Because they're in Tromaville, Klingons are just about our favorite uh, uh, item. I might have what you're looking for. Do you think you could make a, a Troma movie about a Klingon Vanna White? I would never dare, but um, uh, it's too big, a t too, too, too big for me. I have to focus too many, on... Too many copyrights. Well, I prefer the copy wrongs, but uh, uh, Return to Newcomb High Volume 1 has some pretty interesting Klingon Vanna White material that I think uh, Vanna White Klingon would enjoy. Yeah, maybe we'll have to watch that later. I will watch it again when I'm not stoned. Uh -huh. well, uh, She's a little you, stoned. Oliver Stoned would be more like <laughs> He started with Troma. Oliver Stone? Indeed. He's, which which he, movie? Which movie? Uh, Battle of, well, it was, it was before Troma. He got into movies because I did. Uh, Battle of Love's Return was his first movie, and then, and he acts in it, and then we made a movie called Sugar Cookies together. The only X-rated movie in history that uh, lost money. Well, you've made and destroyed many careers, haven't you? Well, I don't know about that, but um, a number of, most recently, Guardians of the Galaxy, Mr. James Gunn, who wrote uh, Tromeo and Juliet, is out. And uh, he I'm also so excited about that movie. I'm so excited. I can't even. I can't even believe how excited I am about see the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm so excited. She just shit herself a little I bit. Did. It's true. Sorry yeah. about. Sorry about your booth. Well, what if I um, got some? Oh, you, uh, it's all right. Yeah. It's uh, probably in Toxie. You got a mop. <laughs> Clean up on Isle Troma. Now, uh, speaking of uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Mr. James Gunn, uh, what if I were to tell you that Cousin Lloyd, or Uncle Lloydy, has a uh, little cameo in that movie? Really? You're in it? Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Mr. James Gunn is very, very loyal. But you're in heavy makeup. We would never recognize you. Or is that right? <laughs> I'm a ham. I'm a heavy ham. <laughs> I make sure I'm recognized. Baby. What you are, I wouldn't eat. 
I'm a kosher hand. That's right. right. <laughs> volume one of Return to Newcomb High is in movie theaters, and we are filming and. volume two. Some of volume two was filmed at Comic Con, San Diego. So when you see volume huh. two of Return to Newcomb High, you will see uh, Comic Con and some of your friends from Comic Con. Oh, that's wonderful. They uh, melt down. Uh, there's a terrible scene where. <laughs> People from Comic-Con are melting down and uh, transforming into Cretans. I hope that happens this year. Well, thank you so much for, for the trashy gifts you've given me and, and everyone here on well, planet Earth. Uh, I know that it's all thanks to Vanna uh, Klingon. Klingon here. Vanna White. Uh, we yeah. couldn't have done it without <laughs> Vanna White. Klingon. It's true. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, by the way, look who's here. Come on down. Look. look. Oh, Shecky. Well, Shecky. Shecky's here. Uh, yeah. Hi. Look who's it's uh, Samuel Jackson. Uh. Samuel Jackson Jr., ladies and gentlemen, started with Troma, Death by Temptation, D E F by Favorite Temptation. Favorite movie and ever. First movie, very love first movie. Love it. I right usually here. get Randy Jackson, but hey, you know. Well, here, this is uh, Samuel Jackson's first movie available. Fantastic. At Troma, 40th year of Troma. Definitely. Oh. oh my God, it's a fantasy oh, so hug good. sandwich right now. Oh yeah. And I've got coffee breath. Oh I'm yeah. So sorry. We all do, man. No, <laughs> you, know, you smell good. Mm. You smell real good, and I'm gay. <laughs> That's how good you smell. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Speak Easily. I will never forget 40 years of trauma. This is the climax. For me, too. And look who we found. Some awesome stunt guys who can kick the shit out of us. So, so who are you, my friend? Where? Who are the stunt guys that you're talking about? Oh, me? Yes. Oh, hey, hey, how's it going? Hey. Uh, our name is uh, The Stunt People, and I'm Eric Jacobus. Nathan Hoskins. And we are, we're here promoting our latest films. Okay. So, so what is your latest film? Our latest film is called Rope It Up 2, which you can see right here on this shirt. It'll be released soon on the uh, on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash stunt people. So, so, so what has been the craziest stunts you've done so far? Uh, coming to Comic Con for, for 12 years has been the craziest stunt I've done so far. What is up with the beard cam? Well, uh, you know, it's just a thing I decided to try and it's, it's working out. It just grows in that way. Yeah. You can't help it. He's half man, half filmmaker. I'm sure. I'm sure AT&T charges him a bundle. Hi. So, as you all know, beards are very popular right now, as are mustaches. And if you have a beard or a mustache and you like to eat, and whenever you use a spoon, you get food in your mustache, well, worry no more because I have invented a beard spoon, a.k.a. the mustache spoon. And the way that it works is you just put the mustache spoon up to your mouth, your mustache rests against the top, which looks like little cat ears on the top, like that. You get no food in your, on, your, on your mustache. That way you get all the food in your mouth. So, feed your belly, not your stash. Check out thebeardspoon.com. We're here with Greg from yesanime.com. And uh, really, we would like to call this the llama superstore because there's a lot of fucking llamas in here. So what the fuck is up with all these llamas? Um, they're big, they're adorable, they're lovable. <gasps> And you can buy one of the little ones, and they will love you all day long. Well, why, why llamas now? What's going on socioeconomically with the country that, that llamas are like the, the new thing? I believe with the way the economy is going, and uh, religion, and other things that are also very important that I heard on CNN, that <laughs> uh, with the negative decline and other scientific facts, that llamas make people feel good. So, if so facto, we sell big old llamas. Hooray for llamas. What she said. I'll take ten. Absolutely. Is it true that llamas are the new black? I mean, being the original black, uh, yes, llamas are now the new black. So police, please start harassing llamas and not me. <laughs> Do not harass him. I will come get you. Do not harass this man. He is my friend now. He's our llama dealer. They have a llama dealer. I am him. If you need a llama guy, you can reach me at 702-555. No, 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 no phone numbers? No, no. Oh, okay, okay. You can mind. give that to me later. Well, that was fucking exhausting. Were we, were we in there like, like at least a thousand hours, right? What, what, what? Exactly. I think we were in there like a thousand hours. No. Yeah, so I, I believe it was a, a yeah round. If you were going to round it down, it would be a thousand. Yeah, yeah, like at least a thousand. Uh, I touched Toxie's butt. I can't believe you gave Toxie a reach around. But we did get llamas. Yay, llamas! The only black llama, llama I've ever seen. 
We got a black llama just for Shecky. Is that racist? No, yeah. it, it is not racist to have a black llama. Black llama! Coming to a theater near you. Produced oh, yeah. by Troma. This is for you, Lloyd. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs>